Cytodyne is an emerging biotechnology company focused on development of therapies for HIV and AIDS. Cytodyne is currently developing two cell-specific antibodies for treatment of HIV and AIDS. These fall in a class of drugs called entry inhibitors. They are designed to block the virus from entering the cell. Cytonin was used back in 1990s in compassionate use study. The results suggested that it stabilizes the progression of HIV. Cytolin is being studied in Massachusetts General Hospital. Currently that study is finishing and we are hoping to use the results to get ourselves with Cytolin to phase one. Dr. Traga and I are very excited that we have completed the acquisition of Pro140. Pro140 is a humanized monoclonal antibody that targets the cell receptor CCR5 for the treatment and potentially prevention of HIV infection. It has recently been cleared for phase 2b studies by the FDA. Pro140 differs because it is a monoclonal antibody. It is not a drug. Its first difference may be the lack of toxicity that you see with drugs. It looks like a naturally occurring protein in the body. The second thing that it differs in is its length of exposure or the ability to act over a period of time. Pro140 can act for a period of weeks, whereas drugs act for a period of hours or potentially a day. By acting longer, it can be administered less frequently providing a, a break in patients for treatment regimens that are really strict and onerous. Cytodyne currently has an agreement with Drexel University to initiate phase 2b clinical studies to determine the appropriate dose and schedule, that is the amount of antibody and the timing of the antibody in patients with HIV that will allow us then to set up a pivotal phase 3 study for licensure. This Phase 2B study is completely resourced by grants awarded to Drexel University and Dr. Jeffrey Jacobson totaling slightly over $10 million that allows Cytodyne to collaborate with academia and with government to move forward to develop this therapy in a very cost-effective and expeditious fashion. Pro140 and Cytodyne are compelling in that they represent a new breed of HIV therapies that have yet to hit the marketplace. As entry inhibitors, they also have the potential for being used not only as therapeutics, but also as prophylactics to prevent infection. And Cytodyne intends to explore all of the potential applications of both Pro140 and Cytodyne. The current trend with pharmaceuticals is to partner with biotechnology companies after they completed their phase two. We are very fortunate to be in that position, which is phase 2B, and by the time we finish this study, we believe the pharmaceuticals will be very interested to look at us. I believe the drive to move this forward not only comes from the treatment of an individual patient, but from the desire to manage this disease globally. In the last few months, Cytodon has been very busy. The new management has been put in place, Dr. Trager and I. Accusation of Pro 140 has been completed. Drexel University agreement has been signed. The funding is in place for this study. And the headquarters has been moved to Oregon. As the CEO and president of Cytodyne, I am very excited about the future of our company.